Hello guys, it is now February 15th, so I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day. Um, but as you can tell from the title, I am now transitioning into my cutting phase from my bulking phase. So that means I'm going to focus on losing body fat and maintaining muscle instead of trying to gain muscle and uh, just not really caring about body fat. So we'll see how I do with this. I'm probably going to go from now, starting now, until about August or September. So a slow, long cut, trying to get the most shredded I have ever been um, for the summer. Because everybody likes to be shredded in the summer, it, let's be honest. Um, I'm going to try to be the most shredded I've ever been. I'm, gonna wanna, I'm trying to go from something like this to something like this. The absolute most shredded I've ever been, the leanest I've ever been. And let's see how it goes. But this video I'm detailing how I'm going to go about that. Like what am I going to change to start losing body fat and become the most shredded I've ever been. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the main change that I'm going to be enacting for this cut is my diet. I'm going to change my diet and I'm going to eat in a caloric deficit. So you've maybe heard me talk about that before. And so you basically you have to be in a caloric deficit to lose weight, to lose body fat, and you have to be in a caloric surplus to gain muscle and gain weight. So I'm going to be in about a 300 to 500 calorie deficit. And if you watch my video on how to find your maintenance calories, which will be linked up here somewhere, um, I found out that my maintenance calories is about 3,365 um, per day. So that means I eat that much. I kind of don't lose weight or gain weight. It kind of just stay the same. It's my maintenance. So now I'm going to be shooting for about 2,800 calories per day. That's what I'm going to be trying to eat. So it's like a 300 to 500 calorie deficit. And it could fluctuate. Obviously, I might not hit exactly 2,800 each day. It might be a little high. It might be a little low. But And if I'm losing weight too fast, I feel, because I'll track my weight. If I lose my weight too fast, I'll start lowering the deficit. So it's a more slow and easy process instead of super fast. So, um, like I said, 2,800 is on the low end. And it just will help better if I slip up and eat some more. So I don't want some ice cream one day. But what I'm going to do for my diet is I'm going to track my food. So I've mentioned this before. I use my fitness pal. Uh, it's like the Under Armour app on your phone to track my food and my calories. So basically, pretty much every day I'll track my food and see what I'm eating. And then like if I decide, oh, that's like I can't have this because it'll be too much, then I won't eat it. Um, but it'll be pretty easy to track, honestly, because my breakfasts are the same pretty much every day. Then I'll meal prep one meal for each day of the week and then the other meal can be whatever. So I'll just like have to track that one. That'll be the only difficult one. Everything else will kind of be the same throughout the week. Um, and so I'm basically just going to worry about calories and protein. I'm not going to really worry about the other macros for now. Um, if I do, I'll update you guys on Instagram and post about it. And I'll use the calculator that I linked down below in the description. It's from Mind Pump. Uh, great podcast, but I'm not going to wor really worry about macros, just going to focus on calories and protein, make sure I hit my protein intake, which is about one gram of protein per pound of body fat, so right now it's like 195 grams of protein-ish, so make sure I hit that. And uh, meal preps, so like I said, I'm going to meal prep, I plan on meal prepping for one meal every day for the week, um, so that meal will be either lunch or supper. So I saw that flexibility, I can go eat at the Union, get some Panda Express, still eat healthy there, um, or go out to eat with people, I can make that work. Um, and I'll track all my other meals and snacks throughout the day. Uh, I will make a video about my meal prep, uh, like what I'm meal prepping, I'll make a meal prep video, meal prep, meal prep, <laughs> I'll make a video for that soon, probably in the coming weeks, about what my meal prep actually is. So basically... Main change is diet. I'm going to eat 2,800 calories-ish per day, and I'm going to focus on high protein. So that way I can have enough protein to maintain my muscle on a low enough calorie count to start losing weight and body fat. As for my workouts, I'm not going to be really changing much. Um, I'm going to stick in the hypertrophy range for the most part right now. That's what I have been doing for the past like month and a half, two months. Why is bulking? Because I finished my strength. 
and I went to just hypertrophy bulking. Now I'll be in the hypertrophy um, range while cutting. And then I'll also, I'll probably throw in a little bit of strength on like the big three compound lifts, like down into the five rep range in the coming months just to like mix it up. Uh, but I want you guys to like know that calories consumed in, is what causes weight and fat loss, not necessarily your training. Your training can help because you could be burning some more calories, but I could gain weight or lose weight no matter what training I'm doing based off of solely how many calories I'm consuming. That's literally the only thing that matters. That's the science. So strength or hypertrophy won't change that. I could be doing either and be gaining weight or losing weight depending on how many calories I'm bringing in. Now, gaining or losing muscle, that's a different story because that just, like I said, with caloric deficit, you can't gain muscle. Caloric surplus, you can. That's how you, that's what you need to gain muscle. So basically, I'm just going to do resistance training and to keep my muscles working and keep using them and also sending the signals like I need to build. And maybe I will build some muscle. Uh, probably unlikely since I've been lifting for a very long time. But if you're a beginner and you start doing this, you could have a body recomposition. So that means you're losing body fat and gaining muscle at the same time, which is freaking sweet, guys. That's awesome. So if you can do that, good for you. But I doubt I'll be able to do that. Um, so I'm basically just going to try to keep my calorie burn high, and I'll adjust my diet accordingly. Just going to keep lifting as usual. Um, no crazy cardio or anything. Like I said, it doesn't really matter, and I don't want to do crazy cardio. I'll do some cardio because it's good for you, but... I'm not adding in crazy cardio to lose body fat. You don't need that. The science is caloric deficit. That's what you need. Now don't go anorexic or anything on me. Track it, but just be kind of consistent, a slight caloric deficit. Because you want to maintain your body shape, just lose the fat. Now if you want my plan, if you want to work out with me, do the same workouts with me, check out my website which is linked down below, grantjohnsonfitness.com, and I have a new thing on there, it's like a subscription and it's a workout with Grant. So basically, every single month, you get to do the same exact workouts that I'm doing on that day. Like, you have the same stuff I'm doing. It's updated monthly and billed monthly. Um, so it's pretty sweet, you can do it with me. And there's also a bunch of other programs and stuff on the website. Just go check it out. If you have any questions, DM me on Instagram or comment down below. All right, so is there gonna be any changes to my lifestyle? Um, not really. I'm going to start making healthier decisions, like, more consistently. I like to think I already do that, but if you followed me around all day, maybe you would think I don't. But I'm going to basically make healthier decisions, and since I'm going to be tracking and meal prepping, it's going to be pretty hard to break off from that, so that's going to change my lifestyle as it is. Um, but I'm still going to enjoy myself. Like, I'm still going to have pizza every single Sunday. Pizza Sundays, baby. It's going to fit into my diet, and I can have ice cream or treats occasionally, too. I'm not gonna cut out sweets or anything you can fit it all in I'm gonna fit it in and just cut my calories elsewhere or just be a little high on my calories for that day it'll be just fine so basically I'm not going to be super strict I'm going to be super consistent but not strict I'm not going to be to the point where it's stressful or difficult to do this I'm going to have fun and enjoy myself it shouldn't be a super stressful process it should be fun and uh, enjoyable and if it's not you're changing something maybe talk to me and maybe I can help I could give you some tips, but it's supposed to be fun, not stressful. And if it is stressful, take a break. Do something else. Because you don't need to do it like this. But I want to see progress. I'm going to start cutting, be consistent with my diet. That's what I think changes the most for people that lift all the time. Not seeing progress, change your diet. Or like get on your diet and pay attention to it. And that's pretty much everything, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them down below or DM me on Instagram. I reply to everything if I see it and I pretty much always see it. Um, like I said, there's going to be a meal prepping video coming out soon. Also, a full day, day of eating on my cut will come out soon. Um, so be on the lookout for those. Uh, next week's video is going to be on my goals for 2021. I know it's late February, but still, I'm gonna share my goals. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want my help, or advice or just want to train with me check out my website I've got a ton of stuff on there I think I'm going to be lowering the prices on everything soon so if you want to be updated on that just go check it out I'll update you guys on Instagram if I do lower the prices I think I'm going to but that's everything thank you for watching this is how I plan to get the most shredded I've ever been be the leanest I've ever been I'm excited for it 
Uh, hopefully it goes well. It's going to be a learning process for me because I've never done something this accurate. I've never really meal prepped consistently. So this will be fun. A learning process for me. I'll take you guys through it. And yeah. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Have a great day. Sleep tight. Don't let the bug, uh, bed bugs bite. I don't know why I just said that. Maybe you're going to bed. I don't know. Have fun. Goodbye. <laughs>